I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the field. I'm Justin Davis, and today we're gonna check out a new HDLRC quad. This is the Hornet 120, super awesome. Little micro brushless racer. It has everything on here I want, 1106 motors. It can run 3S, it has 13 amp ESCs. They're bursting up to 15, probably to 18 amp, but I'll let you know about that more in the studio. Let's go ahead and set this one down, do a little line of sight flight test with it, then we'll go into the studio and take a little closer look at this new quad from one of my favorites. HDLRC. All right, guys, here we go. Yeah, a little bit of wobble in the first uh, maiden of this little quad. I'm gonna also try those Avon Micros. Those tend to be pretty good props, but you know what? I think these are 2450s, so they're a little bit bigger. This is gonna be a nice, smooth flying quad. I'll just come up to it close for you. Got that HDLRC purple theme going. It looks super awesome in the air. Wow. 1106s with this prop combination is gonna be really good stuff. Wow. This is about what I was expecting from HDLRC. They're just killing it this year. Again, with this quad. Everyone's gonna want this one. This is a really good quad right out of the box. I'd like to see bigger ESCs on here so I could throw some 4S on there. I'm not sure I trust 4S with a 13 amp ESC setup. But it's running 3S, no problem. You could also fly it 2S if you just want to kind of cruise. LEDs look killer on the back of this thing. It's got a nice punch out. So let's go ahead and set it down, you guys. Let's do some FPV with this little quad because uh, I think you're going to like the way this one looks in the air. Let's pick out an awesome song to fly to. Here we go, guys.
All right, guys, there it is, the newest quadcopter from HGLRC. This is the Hornet 120, and a lot of people have been talking about this already. Other reviewers are already hyped about it. And now that I've flown it, I, I, I can say I'm in with the hype train on this one, um, mainly because, you know, a lot of times I like to prove to you guys that you don't have to have 28 amp ESCs, 4S, and you don't have to have the biggest power system in the world to go out and really rip and have a lot of fun. You can fly this one on 2S, and I did that pretty well. I bumped it up to a 3S battery with a Tattoo 450 milliamp and the GNB 450, and this thing absolutely screams on 3S, so you don't have to go 4S with 1106s. Um, sometimes I do like to do that if I have a little bit bigger frame, maybe with some three inch props, but these are those Gem Fan 2540s and those are two and a half inch props and that's kind of like the sweet spot for brushless micro right now. And what I mean by sweet spot is when I'm flying a two inch quad, I feel like I have to full throttle a lot when I'm coming back around in those big maneuvers close to the ground. I need full throttle not to fly into the grass. So with 2.5 inch 1106s on 3S, when I come back around from that really big maneuver, that big beastie maneuver, and I want to just come in fast and low, I have enough throttle here that I don't have to be full throttling the whole time, which is really cool. So you want a power system that can handle enough throttle in those big maneuvers if you want to freestyle or if you want to race and sort of rip corners and accelerate out of corners on your yaw snaps. The 13 amp ESCs on here are strong enough to do it with the 1106s, so I didn't have any problem flying that Tattoo 450 3S on this quadcopter. But 100 to 120 size quadcopter right now in the Brussels Micro series, they, they do have a nice flying characteristic. And I think these fly a little bit better sometimes and a little bit funner for a little bit bigger spaces, but you can still fly this in a lot smaller spaces and more close in than you can on like the XJB 145. The XJB 145 that they made was super nice and I love that quad. It's super lightweight power to weight ratio, but this one gives me a little more options when it comes to flight fields and places and new spots that I can try out. Because as you guys saw in that last video, I was able to rip around in this little bike track and just avoid trees and branches. And I really could see actually really, really well with this HGRC ELF camera. I think the color resolution on this one probably looks just as good as something like the Runcam Swift or the Sparrow Mini. Now aside from 1106 and 13 amp ESCs on here, you also have a pretty cool VTX. You've got 5.8 and that's an XJB TX20. It's a version 2 version of it and it does a few different powers on here. It does 25, 100, 200, and actually 350 milliwatts. So you can go way out in the field without losing a lot of video. You guys didn't see a lot of flicker and video loss, even when I was flying around those trees. So it actually has a really nice penetration when you're flying around trees and other solid objects. And this quad does look like a decent quality. They took some zip ties and they zip tied down the motor wires right here so they don't fly up into the props. They also took the time to put a zip tie back here where I always tell you guys to do. So they're paying attention to the community right here. I noticed that if this gets pulled, it doesn't pull on the tabs on the bottom of the ESCs because it could rip the tabs right off your ESC and then you pretty much have to buy a whole new 4-in-1 ESC. But this quad is limited in space so you're going to have to use some type of smaller XM Plus receiver and I just have mine right up top here and I put a zip tie around the whole thing. I did not go around the bottom of the VTX just around this top rail and around the top of the receiver right there. And one of the most important things about this frame is that the sidewalls are super thick. I've seen other companies recently make mistakes making the sidewalls too thin. This is a three millimeter sidewall. So this is one of the thickest sidewalls that I've seen on a brushless micro and the bottom plate right here. You can tell it's pretty good carbon fiber. It's nice and shiny. It has a high gloss on it. And this is a three mil bottom plate right here. There's no bumpers on the outside edges right here to protect the motors. So that might be one con of this particular frame that it doesn't have just a little bit of extra carbon out here to protect this motor when it comes up against a tree. You're going to take a full brunt into that motor. So keep that in mind when you're flying this one. For guys that are new, if you want to put some kind of prop guards on here, you can definitely find some prop guards that are going to be compatible with this frame. Now right on the back back here, you have really nice LEDs and those can be programmable inside Betaflight. You can change colors. It comes set up in purple to match the quad and you've got a beeper back here as well. And one more thing I always like to note about quads recently we've had a lot of quads with this part hanging out down here and this is a little bit exposed down here on the bottom plate these run cam style cameras have this board exposed and these chips can break off 
in any sort of hard crashes on rocks. So you want to be careful around gravel. But from the side, this frame actually looks pretty good around the camera. It's pretty well protected in the front for your frontal crashes. And I really don't think you're going to break the camera frame that's going around the elf right here. So I think you're pretty good there. As far as camera protection goes, it looks good. So I think overall this quad really, really rips and it holds up to its reputation right out of the box, mainly because when I flew this for the first time, it did have a little bit of wobble. I did turn down the P's a little bit and the D's and I sort of smoothed it out on 3S. And I think if you use two different profiles in beta flight, if you're gonna fly a 2S battery and a 3S battery, just set up a little smoother, lower P's and D's on your rates inside your PID tuning um, interface. And, and that's probably gonna give you a little smoother flying once you do move up to 3S. But guys that wanna fly this on 2S, you can absolutely do that. And this is the battery I'm gonna recommend. These are the full speed 2S 500 milliamps. And I'll try to put those down below for a recommendation for you guys. And also one of my favorite batteries right now, guys, is the GMB 450 3S. And this one is 80C. So you're gonna get a really nice punch out on the high end of the throttle with this battery. And they last for three to four minutes if you take it easy. Now let's go ahead and put it on the scale. Just turn on the scale here and see what kind of weight we have. So your dry weight is gonna be 83.7 grams. Not bad, pretty competitive. Let's go ahead and put the 2S 500 milliamp battery on there that I recommended. That's gonna get you up to 114.3 grams. Now let's do the 3S tattoo battery that I like as well. That's gonna be 125.5 grams, 124, 123. It's moving around a little bit. So right around 124 grams for that one. Now this is a pretty large battery there. So that's gonna put you up into the 123 to 124 gram range. So what do I think about this quad guys? If you asked me, I would say that this is definitely an easy bet. If you spent $150 on this one, I think they have some kind of coupon on there right now. You can actually get this one for like $10 off because um, it's just coming out. So go ahead and grab that deal, throw a receiver on there and uh, go outside and enjoy this quad because it flies super, super smooth on 2S. Needs a little bit of tuning on 3S, but drop your P's and D's down five numbers at a time until you get a nice smooth flight characteristic out of these props. These are some really, really nice gem fan props. So uh, a lot of guys like these 2.5 inch props. But this is a really good time to be getting started in brushless micro. If you're just getting into FPV, grab one of these. I think you're gonna have a really good time with it, mainly because HGLRC is just a really reliable company for me. All their flight controllers, everybody going after them the xjb the uh, f440 that just came out we've got a 40 amp speed controller on a 20 millimeter by 20 millimeter stack for a brushless micro they're just doing all kinds of stuff that's really really good the hglrc zeus all-in-one flight controller is also awesome completely changes the way that your stack looks instead of having two layers like this it actually reduces it to one layer so it's got the flight controller and the escs all on one board and then you add your vtx and receiver and you're pretty much ready to fly it so uh, hglrc zeus is also highly recommended so yeah 4.5 stars out of five and uh, this is going to be one of the top rated quads out right now for February 2018. So it just goes to show you that you don't really need like a super high-end power system. You don't need 28 amps or 40 amp to, to fly something on 1106s and have a good time. Um, the quad just needs to fly good and that's what this quad's all about. It flies great and I, I really had a good time with it ripping around and it made it back to my shop in one piece which is pretty amazing for how much I banged it around for you guys. So I always like to push the limits with these quads and uh, show you guys what they can handle. And this one seems to be able to handle a lot. So you can check out the new HGLRC Hornet 120. It's a plug and play in the link down below and support HGLRC because they just keep really keep raising the bar for brushless micro for us uh, for over a year now. They've been really, really high on my list. So thanks again for watching you guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one. 